Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm Brian, the CEO, and before we go fishing, before I get into the fishing action, it's time to do the gender reveal for my baby. Yo, my magic wand still works, guys. <laughs> This video is brought to you by the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle and Nines Optics. I got a pinpoint drop to me from an anonymous person who says I should fish this spot. Now, I've never been up here before. I've never even been to this neighborhood before. This is like an hour or something away from my house. But I got some shiners from the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle. And I'm just gonna throw a live shiner on real quick. I'm gonna use my bait caster, the Cast King MG12. And uh, we're gonna toss this out to see if I can get a fish. So, uh, come with me. It looks like the water's a little bit low. I do see a drop out there, so hopefully uh, I can get tight. I'm gonna drop straight down real quick, just in case there's a fish here. Ooh, what was that? Something just shot out, so let's set this right here. I'm sure you guys can still see me. I'm gonna come over here, turn on my GoPro. Ooh, there's a pipe right here. Let's just drop it one more time. There's decent vegetation here and stuff. And this is a big enough shiners. These are some juicy shiners that they got, gave me from the real hooker. So I'm gonna toss that all the way out there, past the ledge, and we're just gonna sit and wait. This is live bait. I'm using a 1-0 hook from Vector. Uh, something nice and small. If I get snagged up on that drop, then I get snagged up on the drop, I'll throw another one on. I'm not sure the exact spot they said to fish. I'm sort of guessing that I need to go around and walk all the way over there to where the canal connects. So uh, first cast was a fail, but we're gonna keep doing this. Follow me. I'm gonna walk to my truck real quick. I think the gimbal can turn far enough, right? I guess I should just grab the whole bait bucket out. I only got one dozen, you know, cause I wasn't planning on fishing, fishing a lot cause it was more just to explore and see new areas, you know? Um, I don't know where to go from here. I'm a, the, the edge is a little closer, so let me grab this and bring you guys along right here. Got a little corner here. Looks good. If anything, I'm going to lock my truck and go for a walk. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell right now because you don't want to miss any of the upcoming episodes. And that's how I know you love me. You do love me, right? Right through the lips. Booyah. I just got here. Trying to figure out the best spot to hit it. Oh no. Oh no. Y'all saw me just mess that up. I just got smacked on the edge. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Let's throw another one out there. That was a little smaller bait, so it was kind of hard to cast, but let's get it. Let's get it. Just using some live shiners from the real hooker bait and tackle, but I just got smack smacked. Right there, right there. Right on the top there. Ooh, what was that? What was that? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. All right, that's another one. Got smacked twice. 
I just need a fish to make this day a good day. Whoop, right there. Right there. We're gonna get one. We're gonna get one. Ready? Three, two. This cast, I called it. I called it on that cast. Guys, I think I'm on. I'm on. I am on. What do I got? Ooh. Little peacock. Little peacock. Did not think that's what I was going to catch. There we go. Pretty little peacock bass. Take that little hook out. That's a little guy right there. Nothing special, but you know, a fish is a fish. And that's a pretty fish. So let it go. I know there's other fish here. Mm. I got a fish. That's a strong fish. I got a turtle. I got a turtle. Come here, buddy. You want to get that out? Oh, there goes my rod. There goes my rod. High stick and a turtle. What a fail. Time to go get the other set up and uh, keep fishing. All right, so in traveling around and exploring Miami, I guess you could say, I uh, got stuck in some school traffic, like really bad traffic. And I ended up getting stuck right next to this little body of water right here. So I figured, you know what? Let me, uh, let me just wet a line right here since I got live bait. So uh, literally just pulled up, just got rigged up because you saw my other setup was, was messed up. I actually see something down there. I see something down there. Oh my goodness. That'll be a nice, that'll be nice. I don't want to take it out of the water because I want to say I got it on my first cast. Man, I feel like I should have already hooked up. Live bait, fish swimming around, nothing. There's another fish right there. I got stuck in traffic for so long that it actually killed most of my day. I don't know what they're doing over on Okeechobee, but ooh, I see fish, I see fish, I see a fish. Yo! So it was a rough day. My fishing rod broke. It was a slow bite. And when I was getting into my truck right there at the end of that clip, it didn't start. Something was wrong with the battery cable and I messed with it. I got it running. I got around the corner. Boom, truck died immediately. So I was stuck there working on it. I finally was able to get it tight enough and clean off the contacts enough where I could drive home. But it, it just wouldn't clamp down tight enough. So I had to go to the auto parts store today to uh, fix it and get everything running again. So my trip got run short because of this right here. And even though I tried to tighten it down, it just does not want to hold and it's corroded. So the truck kept actually shutting off while I was driving so, and I was about an hour away from the crib. So today I had to cut it short and I'm going to uh, put a new one on, but uh, that's why it wasn't working. All right, let me clean this off and it's all done. Let's go fishing. All right, my little bike ride decided to try and bring my rod to my Nice little peacock bass on the swim bait. As the uh, Cubans down here would say, pica. It's a pica. Because they can't pronounce the cock. 
Go home, buddy. There you have it, guys. I'm having a boy. Thank you very much for watching. I'm excited for what the future brings. And that's it. Even though my truck took a dump on me, my fishing rod took a dump on me, sometimes life just takes a dump on you. But you just got to wipe it off and keep moving. And that's all I, and that's what I did. And that's what you got to do anytime something like this happens. So don't get down. Just get up and keep moving. With that being said, guys, keep your head up. Keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.